what is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another bitcoin daily video today we are doing a market analysis where we go over uh what happened over the weekend and what we're looking uh for this week uh and then we give you guys different trade setups that we're currently looking at for the week so we we mainly go over bitcoin uh, but we also look at, you know, Ethereum and a few other coins as we and, and we look for trade setups that you guys can be looking at for the week. Um, if you're interested in taking those trades, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and share this content. Guys, we're currently at 1,900. Let me see one. 1,989 subscribers. We're trying to hit that 2,000 mark. We only need 11 more guys. 11 more of you who are not currently following who are watching this we need you to just to hit that sub you know what i mean uh hit that sub and let's keep it going so let's jump right in guys uh hope you guys had a wonderful weekend it is november 16th 2020 christmas is around the corner thanksgiving is around the corner uh guys the year has gone by fast it is insane how much has happened this year uh we've seen crypto and bitcoin's price as low as what 3,800 3,900 and as high as almost 17,000 guys who would have thought it would have taken two years right what two or three years to get back to these levels it's insane right but guys if you've held since 2017 2018 congrats you've made it your patience has paid off so let's jump right into it guys as we're looking at bitcoin right now let me move my face out of the way there we go this is for those of you that don't know this is the second video i record because the previous video i just did i had my face in the way like this the whole time i don't think i had that sound effect so i had to make it myself Fuck it, low budget recording let's jump right in guys so um bitcoin we are at 16,664 uh, over the last 24 hours, up about 4%, 10% on the day. Um, Ethereum up about 2%, 4.5% over the last seven days. XRP up 6% today, guys, up 15% over the last seven days. That's amazing, but it's not the winner of the week yet. Uh, Chainlink up 2%, 2% on the week. Here's the winner of the week, Litecoin, guys, up 14% today up 21 percent over the last seven days that's insane guys uh bitcoin cash up three and a half today but it's down 4.3 on the week binance pretty much flat polka dot two percent three percent cardano 1.9 1.7 on the week and eos 2.8 today 3.6 on the week so let's ju jump right into the charts i went through that very fast because i'm trying to not make these videos so super long for you guys you know what i mean so let's jump into these charts let's reload this so we got the most accurate most up-to-date prices in the whole wide world right um so as you guys can see here we're looking at the four hour chart currently so this is let's talk about what happened over the weekend basically this weekend it said that it didn't want to do anything right so on friday we spoke about a few levels the first the main we spoke about two levels specifically friday the main level we spoke about was sixteen thousand, and then the second level we spoke about was sixteen thousand five hundred. right um so what happened here at sixteen thousand was unfortunate but we did warn you guys about low volume on weekends and that's exactly what happened here we just had a lot of consolidation over the weekend right so we had kind of a little breakdown here we went as low as what was the low over the weekend 15,718 um and the high over the weekend was 16,169.5 right um so this is difficult to trade here guys when it's at 16,000 um there's just a lot of buying and selling but since there was not much volume there was no direction right so when there's no direction you want to stop trading that level um and you want to look for the next level right so the next level i had given you guys was 16,500, which today we broke out of as you can see here boom profits so i hope you guys catch this because it went from 16.5 to 16.7 and some change let me see 7.73 so it almost hit 16.8 um and our, that next resistance that we're looking at the main one that big one that i think can lead to 20k guys is 17,000. i think once we break 17,000. 
that can lead to 20. And it could be in the same day or it could just kind of be like this, like it's doing right now, which is breaks one resistance, consolidates, breaks the next resistance, consolidates, and you know, and hopefully this is, you know, this week the break of 17 and maybe some consolidation before continuing to, to 20. Or it could just break 17 and hit 20. I don't know. I don't know these things. You know, I wish I could tell you the future, but I cannot, unfortunately. So we just got to trade what we see, right? Um, so as you guys can see, so those were the two numbers that I gave you. One of the trades could have been a winning trade, depending how you played it, but uh, it was a difficult trade to, to take and manage. Um, but this trade was definitely a home run hitter and you guys should have cashed this trade 100%, right? Um, now, let me tell you guys, let's, let's talk about when, when it's consolidating like this, this is what you're, what you should be doing. Uh, you should be looking for the highs, right? And then try to play, try to look for another level that's within that high that you can use as a breakout trade. So for example, here, um, you would have been looking at this consolidation and you would have been looking, you know, for a high. So here would have been 1,000, uh, 1, uh, I'm sorry, 16,149.5. So here you would have probably been thinking 150. Uh, this would have broke that 150 mark and would have stopped you out, right? So now you would play that next high. So you would have been probably playing this high um, and which was 169, right? 16,169.5. So you're like, all right, 169.5. Uh, what's another resistance or support, supported resistance that's close to this level. And that's, you know, um, that's also a psychological, you know, whole number that people love to use. That would be 16,200. So that would have been your next breakout setup uh, that you could have taken here. And as you guys can see, this broke out pulled back right back to the 200 because it's now support. It turned that, that resistance to support, boom, and take off. So that's kind of how you play this consolidations games. When Mark is just consolidating and doesn't have a direction, you, you just want to play a breakout at that point. You don't want to try to guess the top or bottom. You just want to look for a breakout here. So um, that's how I would have played it. Um, I did not take that trade, but I did take the 16,500 trade. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where we're at with Bitcoin. Now for uh, these levels, for the next levels uh, from here, what we're looking at is uh, that 16,800 is gonna be a minor support. It's a whole number, you know, but the main trade that we're looking at now is the 617K. So I don't know if we're gonna just break out straight up out of this 17K, or we might get rejected a few times, kind of like we did at 16, right? So at 16, uh, we, we hit it, we got rejected, and then we dropped all the way back down here. We dropped to like, uh, what, 14,366. So almost $2,000 we dropped here, right? And then we came back, we slowly grinded our ways back up, kind of got rejected right here again, uh, went back down to 14,8, then slowly grinded back, got rejected again, but we kept fighting, kept fighting, boom, we broke over, right? So now we've kind of been kind of doing the same thing. We're, we're here at that 16K range. Boom, we broke up. Um, now we're, we're looking at that 17K, right? So that's probably going to be the strongest resistance we have before 20, before all time highs, right? Um, so I do expect a rejection at 17. Um, I do expect that. But once we do break out, that's a trade that you definitely want to be taking. So I already have a uh, trade set up above 17,000. As soon as 17,000 breaks, I am taking my trades and I'm using, you know, a f between my stop loss between 50 to $100. It just all depends. Uh, these are all things and decisions that you, that you got to make on the fly. Like once, once you start, once you're watching price action, you got to kind of you know, no, you got to know how to adapt. There's no one solution for everything. But if you're a beginner, uh, I recommend between 50 to a hundred dollars stop loss below 17,000, right? Um, to be safe, always play those numbers to be safe. Uh, you know, once you're a profitable trader with years of experience under your belt, then you can kind of, you know, play it by ear, not by ear, but you can adapt your strategy depending on what price is doing and what the market's doing. Um, so that's pretty much the main trade we're looking at. 
uh, the second trade that we will be looking at is a pullback. So the first pullback level that we would look at is 16,500. Um, if that doesn't hold, then I'm probably looking at 16,200. If that doesn't hold then 16, right? Um, but the main one is 16,500. Uh, you see that we had that break here. I mean, the rejection here. So that is a going to be, that was a resistance and it's now support. Um, so that's the first level that we're looking at. Uh, remember, we want to see it kind of dip under it and then break back above it. And we want to enter on that break. So that's how we're going to enter in that. Uh, for the 17k we're just looking for that clean break and we're entering that 17k so those are the two main trade setups that we're looking at this week and that we're looking for uh to trade uh so hopefully you guys take those trades and make some money uh so let's look over at ethereum ethereum has kind of been slowed down uh you see over the weekend it just dropped right um and it went as low as 439 so that 440 number was a level that we've played before right uh unfortunately i did not get to play this one uh but you do see that it dropped under 440 and on that as soon as it came back up above 440 that's kind of where you wanted to enter that trade uh the second entry would have been above 450 on the break of 450 you would want to you would have wanted to enter that trade so those are two trades that you could have taken here. Unfortunately, I didn't take any of those trades. Um, I was I was away on the weekend and I wasn't at my PC and I don't really like making too many trades on my phone. Um, I, I do make some, but I, I try not to make too many while I'm on my, you know, while I don't have access to my computer because uh, it's just not the same, you know. Um, so, uh, trades that we're looking at right now, the first trade, the first levels we're looking at is 465. Uh, so at 465 level right here, you'll see there's a lot of action. Uh, so you do have to be careful and I would tread lightly here. Use light position, you know, low leverage because there's a lot of consolidation in, in this range. Right. Um, but that is a range where there's going to be, you know, um, a lot of price action uh, and volume might pick up there. So that's a, on a break of 465 is something I'd be playing. On a, a break of 470 would be the next one I'm playing if you don't want to play 465. All right, now note that 480 is a very strong resistance here, but if we do break 480, you could play that break of 480 and have your um, basically 500 be your target there. Uh, and then the next trade would be a break of 500, right? Um, for support, if you're looking for support, the 460 is the first support here uh, in this range, but there's a lot of consolidation here. So I've kind of been uh, staying away from that 460 lately. Um, so that next level would probably be 457.50 and then 455. Uh, those would be the much safer options if you're looking for, for a pullback entry. And if those break, then 450 and 440 are your two next supports that you can look to enter. Remember the way you want to enter support entries, you want to see them dip under and then you want to catch it on the break back above. Um, so those are the trades I'm looking at for Ethereum, um, Bitcoin Cash. Not really much going on here. As you guys can see, there's just so much consolidation on this level that I no longer am using that level to enter. Um, or I, well, I haven't been trading Bitcoin Cash, as I've mentioned before. Uh, but I wouldn't even use this level to enter. What I'd be looking for at this point is probably a break above the high, like we just spoke about. So 265, I would be looking for a break, uh, above 265 for entry here for a breakout entry, uh, for support entry. I just don't like any of these supports right now. Honestly, I'm not taking any support entries on Bitcoin cash. So I'm only looking for that, uh, breakout trade there. Um, Litecoin. So Litecoin has been a mover. We spoke about this level right here, uh, about this breakout and you see, even though it did, so this one did fail. Then we had fake outs here, consolidation, and then finally got the breakout. I knew it was just a matter of time. You know, you just have to be playing that level though. It's tough to play sometimes because of so much consolidation, but I mean, it is what it is. You got, you kind of have to, right? So we had the breakout, then we had the pullback right back to this level and then continuation up. So uh, so we could see some uh, consolidation here, kind of like we saw right here, and then a continuation up. Um, so what I'd be looking at is a breakout above this high, so probably above $73 is what I'd be looking at, 
or for a pullback back to the 70 range or the 68 range down here um, to look for an entry. So that those are the two trades I'd be looking at in Litecoin. Um, XRP, we finally have some movement in XRP, which makes me so happy. And I know it makes a lot of you guys happy. Um, this is a, the high, it's that the highest it's been in a while, right? So we finally broke out. Um, we called a trade. Uh, I think the trade that we called was above 26 cents, right? Um, I'm not sure exactly when we spoke about this level, but I know 100% we did mention these levels um, as a trade where to enter or uh, the safer option. I'm pretty sure we spoke about on Friday uh, was 26.50. Uh, because it was above this high right and you can see there there was resistance so look at this boom broke it came back tested it jumped back up came back tested it jumped back up jump back up uh, take off right so we did hit all our targets here uh, on xrp i hope some of you guys caught this uh we should be looking at uh 30 cents as the next you know main target there um, but if I'm looking to play this, I'm looking to take a breakout trade above 29 cents. Um, and for a support, I'm probably looking at 27 cents and 26.50 as that entry again at 26.50 entry or 27. So I'd be looking at those two for support entries. I'd be looking above the higher of the day plus a resistance. So either 29 cents or 30 cents would be your breakout entries just depends you know what what you want to do um link chain link here let's see what we got in chain link so we spoke about this level this was a buy area you see the takeoff here came back tested 1150 and then it's just kind of been consolidating here right um it, it keeps getting rejected by 1350 um so the breakout here is is pretty obvious above 1350 uh you can play that 13 dollar breakout but it's a bit riskier as you guys can see, there's so much consolidation in that area, right? Uh, but 13, 13 is a breakout candidate, you know, just a little bit more risky. And then 1350 is that next number. Um, so you kind of want to be using about 25 cent stops, stop losses on this, uh, since 50 cents is most of the targets here. Um, so if you do enter at 13, then, you know, 1350s is take profit one. Uh, fourteen dollars, etc. Every fifty cents for Chainlink. Um, for support entry, you're probably looking at this twelve dollar range is where I'd be looking for entry here. Anything else you can enter around twelve fifty, but there's so much consolidation here that I wouldn't risk it. I just wait for a, a drop to twelve or the breakout for Chainlink. Uh, Tezos, Tezos just continued here. It did finally move up, but it's just kind of here. We spoke about on Friday that entry that I'd be looking for is $2. As you guys can see, it tested that $2 range this morning and possibly yesterday. Um, so that's what I'd be looking at right now. Uh, $2 is a support entry. For a breakout entry, probably above 220 is what I'd be looking at. Above 220, 220 for a breakout at $2, $2 for a support entry. Um, Neo. Neo finally broke over 16, but it keeps falling down. Like it, it doesn't, it can't stay above it. So if I'm looking here, uh, I spoke about this before. I'm not taking any support entries on Neo, uh, but I will take a breakout entry. Um, so I want that above 16 and then above the previous high. So 1627 above that is where I'm looking for an entry probably, or I'm just looking above this one right here. So this is close enough to 17 to determine that 17 is probably where I really want to enter. You see 17 play the support here before the drop. Um, so yeah, so the, the best trade for Neo right now would be above $17 uh, with 20 probably being that uh, that main target price, take profit price that you're looking at there. Um, Bitcoin futures. I just want to see if there's any gaps here, any gap ups. Um, not really. Looks looks pretty good. Consolidation uh, gapped up. We closed it and then we moved it. Today's when we moved. So uh, futures look good. Chart looks good there. Um, and then the last one, Cardano. Cardano. I'm not trading. It's looks terrible. It is on support, but I just don't like this. Uh, I think I said it before. 
I want above 800 sats for me to start taking interest in it. You know what I mean? Below that, I just have zero interest. Uh, Doge, just looking at this for fun. Uh, there's nothing really to do here right now in Doge. Uh, the last one I'm looking at is EOS. EOS, um, as you can see here, the entry that I'm looking for, I'm looking for that breakout entry above 265, I believe. Let me see, probably around here, about, around, above 26 is where you're looking at. There are some fake outs, so you gotta be careful, but above 26 is, is mainly where you're probably looking to take a entry there. As you can see, it is a resistance. So uh, maybe you're a little bit above that if you wanna be a little bit safer, maybe like up here above 265 would be the safest one, right? Um, so that's probably the safest one. Uh, support entry, I'm not really looking for any support here, any support entries on this as of yet. So uh, that's pretty much it for um, the trade setups for this week that I'm looking at. Uh, it's pretty much it for the analysis and the recap of the weekend. Uh, so that's what we're looking at, guys. You know, if you guys have any questions about any of this, drop it in the comments. We're always, you know, watching the comments and reading the comments. Uh, and we're trying to answer everybody. We want to engage with you guys as much as possible to, uh, so that we can help you guys make money. You know what I mean? Uh, we want to make everybody money. We want everybody to make money. Money is abundant. Profits are abundant. You just got to know where to get in and where to get out in order to grab those profits, right? Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I think we covered it all. We spoke about, we did the analysis on Bitcoin. We spoke about the trade setups that we're looking for. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So please make sure to hit that subscribe. Remember, we're trying to hit that 2K. Let's see if anyone subscribed while we were doing all this talking. Um, nope, nobody subscribed. So we still need 11 more subscribers to hit 2000. Uh, the question of the day for today is what are the Bitcoin entries I am looking for? And how, how do you play that support entry? Um, and that's basically it, guys. Make sure to answer the question of the day in the comments, right? Uh, when you answer it, make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed. And then uh, we need 20 likes, right? So 20 likes will trigger the giveaway. We just did two giveaways on Friday. So 20 likes triggers a giveaway and we'll do it on Friday, okay? Um, so that's basically it, guys. I think we covered everything pretty much, right? I will see you guys tomorrow for a new video. And uh, that's it. Peace and love, guys.